hello guys and welcome back to another empires and puzzles video uh today we will be discussing a very important topic of secret heroes and they'll be dropping in beta version 66 i believe they'll be in game officially next month and remember the information that you're seeing in this video is extremely likely uh, to be changed by the game developers uh, like the class, the special, the stats. So this is just a heads up. None of this information is 100% uh, accurate. But this is just a heads up. Kind of like a picture frame of what's going to happen next month. So let's get into the video. So secret summon information. There will be no summon portal for the heroes. But they are added as a bonus draw. Kind of like hero of the month for existing summon portals for selected uh, limited duration summons like elemental summon epic hero summon and goblin summon and then one secret hero is featured at any time similarly to hero of the months and we do not know how often the secret heroes the featured ones will be rotating and the name of the featured secret hero will be shown below the faded summon and the remaining time when the featured hero will be changed so if you click on this this section the hero card will show without any information other than the special skill name all other information is marked with question marks and the hero portrait is not visible either the class the passive the family is also unknown and the appearance rate uh, add on to the bonus draw section, the secret summon hero, uh, the specific hero name will be a secret hero uh, V, uh, zero, uh, secret hero uh, IV or something. Uh, the, these are the names of the secret heroes, one, two, three, four, and five. There are five in total and they will rotate and they will have a extremely low 0.1% chance to be pulled so I think uh, the chances are, are gonna be extremely low uh, you are not gonna be able to get this easily uh, and this also applies to uh, spenders it is not easy getting this 0.1% chance because that is extremely low but these heroes are extremely good just wait and see next is the family bonus so uh the secret heroes will be split into two separate families so secret one family heroes will become stronger when teamed with other unique heroes of the same family bonus for one two or three heroes plus 20 percent plus 30 percent or plus 40 percent defense and plus 20 percent plus 30 percent or plus 40 percent health and the secret 2 family will be 1, 2, or 3 heroes of plus 20% attack, plus 30% uh, attack, plus 40% attack, and the health is the same. So the only, uh, the only uh, difference is the defense and attack bonus. So that is an extremely good uh, family bonus. Uh, uh, especially for one hero you get you already get that defense health attack health bonus depending on what secret family you're in but these heroes will be extremely hard to get your hands on so next we will have a new uh, skill effect or or status effect called insanity now insanity has a percentage chance of reversing the target of a special skill cast so when insanity activates the special skill that the target and then that targets enemies will instead will target allies so for example if you don't understand this take a hero for example a uh, kufu for example kufu is targeting the enemies so if he is inflicted with insanity and he lands on that percent chance his special skill will backfire and the allies his own team kufu's own team will be receiving damage and the effects because it is reversing kind of like an uno reverse card if you uh uh if you don't understand this and then special skills aimed at cast 
at caster will be cast on a random target. So if if a caster is being aimed at by a special skill like a direct one, uh, that special skill will be reflected and a random target enemy will be taking that damage instead of the caster. So special skills aimed at a target will be cast on cased on the caster. So judging uh, by this, I think Insanity is a stronger version of Mindless Attack. And Insanity cannot be dispelled or cleansed. And Hero's Insanity and a Hero's Insanity can be lowered by 10 each time they are healed, not percent 10. A whole number 10 each time they're healed this counts a uh, direct heals from special skills lower insanity only once per cast so insanity drops to zero when a special skill is cast on rever re rever targets and reaching 100 insanity automatically cast special skill when mana is full so judging off insanity it is a stronger version of a mindless attack and you can reflect both damage ailments buffs to the opposing side the enemy team so it will be an interesting new mechanic uh, that will be coming into the game so uh, with the summon information family bonus and the new status effect out of the way we'll be taking a look at the heroes themselves so there are five heroes in total uh this is his name is secret hero v or secret hero five uh it is stated in a roman numeral so uh his rarity is of course a legendary uh no gender unknown uh he has a team power of a thousand 1025 on the attack, 10, 1025 as well on the defense, and 1643 on the HP, the hit points, the health points. So extremely balanced stats across this uh, secret hero 5. Uh, and then his class will be a cleric. That is a mistake on my behalf. Fighter, cleric, I have no idea what I'm thinking. But his class is a cleric in the image. Uh, that is information from uh, the site that I uh, pasted in this Google slide, but I uh, double checked the information and that uh, somehow got in there. I'll change that later, but uh, that is a cleric. So the element is holy yellow, and he is running at very fast mana speed, extremely good, and he is of the Secret 2 family, uh, which gives... Uh, the attack and health bonus for the heroes so so uh the passive secret passive all damage is reduced by five percent per 10 insanity for this character up to a maximum reduction of 50 percent so that is an extremely strange passive but depending on the accuracy i guess uh the damage will be reduced up to a maximum of 50% damage. Uh, so that means a 100 insanity is the max. So let's take a look at his special skills next. So for the next three turns, this character deals 250% damage and inflicts 30 insanity to a random target and nearby enemies. Enemies anytime each any other ally cast their special skill so kind of like a guardian hippo effect so for three turns if any ally cast their special skill secret hero 5 will deal 250 percent damage and applies 30 percent i'm sorry 30 insanity to three heroes of target and uh nearby enemies so kind of like a guardian hippo effect or a dark feather or a moon flower. 
uh, effect so that is extremely strong uh, if you get your whole team charged up and you fire this hero that will be an extremely devastating amount of damage and then stack max 10 all allies get plus 20% attack uh, up to a plus 200% attack if you get a uh, max 10 and he is running at very fast speed and then stack max 10 all allies get plus 5% mana generation up to a total of plus 50% mana generation and inflicts 35 insanity to himself. So judging from this, uh, Secret Hero 5 is counted at, as a support healer. Uh, he gives the stack and he deals damage whenever his allies cast their special skill. So Secret Hero 5 is an amazing hero, especially is he of the cleric class, uh, the amazing class. And then especially run at very fast speed, attack up either talent. So, uh, I can see Secret Hero 5, sorry, uh, being extremely useful even though it would be extremely hard to pull him. And one thing I forgot to mention is the insanity skill, insanity, uh, status effect cannot be removed by equalizer wars, cannot be resisted by cleric and monks. So that makes insanity skill effect even more deadly or uh, even more annoying if you're dealing with it, but it would be extremely handy. Oh. Uh, this is a Google slide, by the way. I'm just cropping the video into a uh, the slide that I want you to see, not the slides and my, all my work messy stuff. So that is a little uh, update on the insanity uh, on the insanity skill effect. So next we have Secret Hero IV or Secret Hero Four, Legendary, Gender Unknown, Power a thousand. I think all these heroes have the same stats, so we won't go over that again. Uh, he is of the pal. Paladin class and now if you're wondering why uh, it is a sorcerer class It is because it is an update or a change that just happened in the uh, wiki of uh, the empires and puzzles a wiki fandom thing uh, the website where they release the information but uh, unlike secret hero 5 I forgot a uh, secret hero 5 I forgot to remove the old class so that is a mistake on my behalf. My apologies again. Of course, he is a dark or purple type, as you can see. He is running at mana speed, mana speed slow, and he is of the secret one family. And then his ether pa his ether power is immunity. Another update because, as you can see, it shows a boosted regen. So another uh, update in the wiki. And then the same passive, we won't go over that again. His special skill is called Grim Awakening. He will revive all allies with 100% HP. So it is uh, a confirmed revive and you get revived uh, at 100% HP. And But, but uh, they are inflicted with 60 insanity. And then all allies get plus 74% defense against special skills for 5 turns that is a massive amount of defense against special skill uh, for 5 turns that is an extremely long duration so if any ally except the caster is defeated in the f in, f in 5 turns all enemies receive 400 damage I'm not sure if this applies to a uh, one ally or uh, more than one ally I'll have to look that up and then uh, he inflicts 55 percent in I'm sorry 55 insanity to the caster so I think uh, he could be used in rush wars at a wing position along with someone like Kalo would be extremely good combo uh, because he revives all with a hundred 
percent HP, and then he gives that massive defense, and then uh, if they are defeated, which I think would be extremely rare, because they are revived at a hundred percent HP, so I don't think that that would be uh, very common. The third skill effect, uh, the the third dot. So I think Secret Hero Four would be useful in uh, Rush Wars, Rush tournaments, but not as impactful or useful as uh, Secret Hero Five. Next we have Secret Hero Three. He is a nature power uh, defense, the same power defense, the same. Uh, he is a monk class. He is running at average speed, making him use, uh, usable or compatible for attack and defensive formations. He is of the Secret 2 family, and his Aether power is Ailment Reflect, extremely good and extremely annoying Aether power to deal with. And then the same passive, we won't go over that again. His special skill, Jewel of the Deep, it dispels buffs from, from the target and nearby enemies and then inflicts 5 insanity per dispelled buff. And I think that 5 insanity applies to uh, all, all of the 3 hit targets. And then deals 350% damage and inflicts 40 per, for, I'm sorry, 40 insanity to the target and nearby enemies. So that is a light hit three especially at average speed uh i hope that could be like 400 especially who we just got pop hit uh who is at fast speed 390 percent so that is a little bit disappointing but let's see what this guy has to offer so all allies except the caster recovers a whopping a thousand boosted health after four turns after not uh not uh for four turns and if the effect is removed or replaced before the duration ends it recovers a thousand and four hundred boosted health instead so i don't really think he can be relied on as a healer but along with a strong primary healer i think he can be relied on as a little bit weaker uh, healer since he is extremely unpredictable on the boosted health uh, but his primary use is the dispel insanity and the damage dealing and then he inflicts 45 insanity to himself so extremely good offensive and defensive hero uh, i think he is an extremely good all-rounder i really like that he priority pr prioritizes dispel before dealing the damage so uh bloodwig would be shut down so next we have Secret Hero II, uh, or Secret Hero 2, uh, he is also a legendary, uh, unknown gender, same power, attack, defense, HP, but he is a druid class of the ice element, uh, the blue color, he is running at average speed, making him also compatible for attack and defensive formations. And he is of the Secret One family, and his ether power is damage reduction. So extremely good ether talent, uh, well balanced stats, average speed, compatible for both defensive and offensive formations, and the same passive. We won't go over that again. And his special skill is Eye of Yogzer, Yogzer, Yogzer. Um, at average speed, he cleanses status ailments from himself the caster and then he will get he gets taunt that prevents enemies from using special skill on the caster's allies for four turns i am a bit uh confused on if this guy is a taunt hero then why is uh his ether talent ailment immunity i have no idea but one thing that does relate to the ailment immunity is the first skill cleanse status ailments from the caster but i don't really see a relationship uh between uh the hero and 
uh, I'm sorry, the special and the ether talent, they don't really benefit each other, especially if you're gonna get that cleanse anyways if you find a special skill. So that is a downside in my opinion. Okay, so let's continue. Taunt for four turns, and for the next four turns, the caster inflicts five insanity to all enemies, all enemies, each time the caster is hit. And I think that hit applies to uh, a slash attacks and special skills, but I'm not really sure if it applies to minions. I don't think so. Uh, I, I, I don't think this applies to minions, there's no specification in uh, the wiki, so I have no idea, I'll have to look that up again. Uh, so 5 insanity to all enemies each time the caster is hit, and he gets 45 insanity to, uh, yeah, and he inflicts 45 insanity to himself. So I can say that this is a pretty decent taunt hero especially that uh, if you do get hit uh, you inflict something to uh, the enemies I have to look more to the insanity effect because I'm pretty sure that most of you do not understand the insanity effect I don't really understand in the insanity effect into uh, a depth that well that that well so we will have to wait for an update in the wiki uh, and hopefully the game developers will make that clear and our last hero secret hero one he is of the fire element he is a sorcerer fast speed we always love that making him compatible for offensive formations and his ether power is counter attack so extremely good ether power uh fast speed extremely good and pa same passive we won't go over that again his special skill ritual of the deep this is my favorite secret hero just it hits up he will deal 450 percent damage to the target so i think it is an equivalent amount of damage to a hero like hohenworth or a hero like Umbria for example and those heroes both summon fiends like this guy do so this guy will summon an ominous test <laughs> tentacle fiend I was about to say testicles uh, an ominous tentacle fiend for the target that is hit and then the ominous tentacle fiend absorbs healing and disappears when it has absorbed health equal to 15 percent so that is not a very beefy fiend but the ominous tentacle fiend generates a clone of itself to nearby enemies after every turn so clone fiends absorb the same amount of healing and deals the same amount of damage as the as the original fiend and then the ominous tentacle uh and then the ominous tentacle fiend inflicts five insanity to the owner on every turn. So instead of applying damage, uh, this fiend will be applying insanity instead of inflicting damage. So uh, the damage is equivalent to uh, some fiend summoners like Hohenwerk. Hohenwerf or Umbria. Uh, I think the mini, uh, I'm sorry, the fiend is less beefy, but it does generate a clone of itself, like LaSalle's fiend, like Umbria's fiend, uh, that generates the clone of itself. And of course, it's the same amount of healing required to take it off and deals the same amount of damage. But I don't really see uh, the damage in this in this uh, hero but uh, most importantly he applies that insanity effect and then he he gets 40 in insanity and then he gets 40 insanity himself so i think uh secret hero one would be extremely useful if used in the correct way if you have the right timing uh, i think the fiends can be extremely annoying and painful to deal with so to round up these new uh secret summit information so there will be no portal uh elemental epic and goblin confirmed uh featured one at a time 
and then a 0.1% rate in the secret secret summon hero as a bonus draw these this is the family bonus and the insanity skill effect a secret hero 5 secret hero 4 secret hero 3 secret hero 2 and secret hero 1 so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you get a heads up on what's gonna be coming in April uh, but one thing I'm do I am concerned about is it is April and as you know it's April Fools so I have a suspicion that these heroes may not be real and the developers are trying to mess with us so please keep this in mind and uh, don't uh, bust me in the comment section if you do if this does get cancelled I did state this in the video so if it does get cancelled it's not my fault it is the wiki's fault so I hope you enjoyed this review of the secret heroes in beta version 66 uh, like subscribe share the video comment ring the bell for uh, notifications for another amazing video uh,